Oh, hi. Just getting ready for a good day's business. All set? Hey, you look fine. Hey, that uniform fits you real good. Oh, well, I asked you to come on around front and sit down because I thought you might want to ask some questions. We have a few minutes till we open. But when the manager introduced me, he introduced me as Mr. Blevins. Well, that's all right during business hours, but when we're off, just call me Joe. We call each other Mr. and Miss when customers are around because, well, because it sounds good. Mighty nice to have you with us. Well, first, this is a pretty good place to work. One of the nice things about working for the Crystal Company is that everybody helps everybody else. Oh, he won't make mistakes. Everybody does. But you'll learn. If you have any questions, just ask me or one of the other operators and we'll help. We want you to be happy and comfortable in your job. Now, the Crystal has certain ways of doing things. These ways are standard in all crystals because it's best for our business. Now, to start the day right, you want to look good. You girls will want to be especially neat, like this young lady. Clear nail polish or none at all. And by the way, one of the first things the customer sees is your hands, so keep your nails short and clean. Wash them often. Clean apron and clean uniform. Of course, the men have to watch their appearance, too. Hair combed and not too oily. Cap set on straight. Shave. Tie straight. Clean shirt. Clean apron. And clean white trousers. And for your own customers' good, stay well. Don't ever let that happen to your customer. Our business depends on good food served quickly and courteously. Nine times out of ten, the people who come into a crystal are not only hungry, but they're in a hurry. Keep your mind on your work and stay busy. Don't lean on the back bar. And incidentally, the customers aren't interested in your private jokes. That kind of horseplay just won't go. You'll drive customers away. Speak your orders clearly to the grill operator and you won't have to yell. And don't use slang. Whispering is bad, too. Believe it or not, some of the customers are liable to think you're talking about them and get offended. If you have any personal arguments, put them off until another time. Nothing looks worse than a couple of operators feuding behind the counter. Take your own meals in the stock room while you're on duty. And of course, we never smoke behind the counter. You're going to have a lot of days when the stools are filled most of the time. Serve the customers in the order that they come in and explain to the others that you'll be with them in a second. Crystal service ought to be prompt and courteous, even when you're rushed. Greet every customer with a new smile and say, may I serve you, or yes, ma'am. Just act natural. Be especially patient when you're serving children. Kids usually have only a little money to spend, and they like to take their time thinking about what they're going to eat. These youngsters are our grown-up customers of tomorrow. Make them feel at home, and parents will usually go where their children want to go. That's the way to do it. What's the first thing you do when a customer walks up? Give them a clean place to eat. Wipe off the counter with a clean, damp towel. Keep the crumbs out of the customer's lap. Use a clean towel. We've got plenty of them. thing to do is serve a glass of water. Keep your finger toward the bottom of the glass. That's the wrong way. That's enough to ruin anyone's appetite. This setup should be checked often. Keep them orderly, clean, and convenient. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't work like that. Use a paper napkin to wipe off the top of the mustard shaker. Check every container to make sure it's full.
Before you serve anything, check the dishes for cleanliness. Before you serve anything, take a look at it to be sure it's okay. Eggs ought to be especially watched to see that they're fixed the way the customer ordered them. That crystal hamburger is the most important single item we sell. We always serve the first one on a plate. But the repeat orders should be picked up in a wax napkin and put on the same plate. There's a bad one. The meat should be all inside the bun, so it will look as tasty as it really is. Check pie especially. If a piece looks ragged, throw it away and serve another one. Don't serve anything you wouldn't eat yourself. When a customer is about to finish, ask him if he would care for anything else. Suggest at least a couple of items. If he hasn't had any dessert, offer him some. If he says no, go ahead and collect the money quickly, but don't rush him. Make change at the register, then count it out to the customer. When you're handling new money, watch out that it doesn't stick together and be sure to say thank you. Once in a while, a customer will complain about the food. The crystal serves only the best, but we don't argue about it. Maybe the gripe is legitimate. Tell him you're sorry and offer him another serving, or ask him if he'd like something else instead. Don't charge for the replacement, and don't ever act irritated. Make the customer think you're all for him, and he'll come back again. After all, our customer pays our salaries. These containers are used for going out orders. Items to go are important because they are usually larger than counter orders. Hamburgers go into the cartons, then into a paper bag with a few napkins. Fold the bag neatly at the top. Coffee goes out in this special cup. Mark on the top if it has sugar or cream or both. Then put it in a bag of the right size. Well, that's about all. There are other things such as not letting a customer wait on his food after it's been cooked, but we'll take care of those as we go along. But these things are most important. Always wear the correct uniform. Pay attention to your business and don't play around behind the counter. Check your setups carefully. See that the dishes and silverware are clean and the food well prepared. Be sure your sales ticket is correct and the corner turned up and keep your hands off the food. Above all, remember that the customer is the most important person in the world to us. Okay, now remember those things and you'll be a success. There'll be more money to you and more satisfaction too. Well, gotta get going. Come on around to this side. Oh, welcome to the Crystal family.